Now in this question, what I've done is I've laid out the terms. The first term for a geometric series is always A, and if you multiply each term by a common ratio R, the second term would be AR, third term would be AR times another R, AR squared, and so on. And we're told that the third term is 324, and we're also told that the sixth term is 96. And our job then is to find out what the common ratio is. So how do we do this? Well, it's basically simultaneous equations. What I know is that we can see that AR to the power 5 is 96. So we can put AR to the power 5 equals 96. That's the sixth term. And we've got the third term, 324. So in other words, we've got also 324 is AR squared. I'll just write AR squared equals 324. Now, when you have simultaneous equations, good idea to number them, when you have simultaneous equations like this in a geometric progression, the best way that you can find R is just by simply dividing the two equations. Equation 1 divided by equation 2 in this case. Let's just put that down. 1 divided by 2. What does it give us? Well, we would have AR to the power 5 divided by AR squared would equal 96 divided by 324. And what happens is that the A's cancel one another out. And you can divide r squared into r to the power 5. That's going to go once, and that's going to go r cubed. So in other words, what we have is r cubed equals 96 over 324. But 96 over 324 cancels. You can reduce this down to 8 over 27. You can reduce it down to 8 over 27 if you divide top and bottom by 12. So to get R, all we need to do is find the cube root of 8 27 And the cube root of 8 27 you can either do on a calculator, but really it's so easy you could do it as the cube root of 8 over the cube root of 27. Cube root of 8 is 2, and the cube root of 27 is 3. So the common ratio is two-thirds. Okay, well that brings us to the end of the first part then of this question.